Hi, it's me again, Michael Gaffney from American School of Flower Design. Today I'm in San Francisco, one of my favorite places. I have schools in 13 cities across the country. So today we're designing in San Francisco. I'm here to show you how easy my day job is, which is being a designer. Sometimes it's my night job. But I'm going to show you how flower designing is easy. It's all recipes, patterns, and formulas. This much creativity. I tell my students if they got dressed today and then no one's look, staring at them, they have enough creativity. This is the part they're missing. So welcome to the American School of Flower Design. For more information on our schools, you can go to flowerschool101.com and see the dates, the times, uh, uh, where we're located in 13 cities across the country. I'm on the Today Show, Hallmark Channel. Uh, I work for film crews. Uh, I'm opening Macy's Flower Show this spring, so join me in New York. So I'm here today to show you some of my secrets behind my success in the flower business. Today we're going to do a very simple uh, uh, DIY bridal bouquet. Uh, it's called Open the Gate. If you're uh, right-handed, I want you to do this right now. Bend your wrist slightly and open the gate. That's called opening the gate. If you're left-handed, you're going to take your right hand and open the gate. That's the one technique to doing this whole bouquet. See how easy my job is? I'm going to start with my one rose. I'm going to hold it about an inch away from the top. I'm going to take a second rose. I'm going to open the gate, pull it through the gates, close the gate, reach down here and turn it. I'm going to take another rose, open the gate, pull it through the gate, reach down here and turn it. If you hadn't come to my school, you would be doing this, wouldn't you? I know you would. You'd be stacking them. No, you want to pull them in towards your body and bring it down. Pull it in towards through the gates. It's over the front gate and underneath the second gate and close your hand. So we have a nice little start of four or five roses surrounding our uh, focal point. Now, let's say you want a mixed bouquet, we'll add a little stock. Just open the gate, pull your stock in, close the gate, and turn. Since we want a nice mass design, it's called nice solid ball, we're gonna, we're gonna remove any leggy, any leggy sort of tips off our stock. So I'm gonna open the gate, I'm gonna pull in the stock, and I'm gonna turn. I'm going to open the gate, look at that, and I'm going to turn. Here's another way of doing it. I tell my students, look, stare into the sun and hold this straight up and pull it down. It's like the setting sun. When the sun starts setting, you know that's the time to close the gate. So here we go, up and down and close the gate. I'm going to go back to my roses. So this is going to be a nice mixed bridal bouquet. I'm going to open the gate. I'm adding another ring of flowers in my design. Open the gate, close the gate, reach down below and turn. Open the gate. Close the gate, reach down, and turn. So I did stock. I'm using about 10 stock. I'm going to use about 20 roses to make a nice uh, bridal bouquet. So I've done another ring of the white roses. Notice every time there's about an inch of space between my hand and the flowers. I'm opening the gate, pull the flower in and close. That's what makes the world go round. If you stack them like this, you're going to wind up with a big flat pancake. And she's going to come down the aisle thinking this. Why did Michael make a pancake? for my wedding day. So you don't want to do that. You want to round it out. And every once in a while I stop and I make sure these are down below, rip off any leggy tips. Now I'll add in some more stock. This couldn't be easier. Add some stock and turn. Add some stock and turn. Opening the gate 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 and turn. And, gate and, turn. and I'll add a few more roses. Isn't that pretty already? How long did this take me? About two minutes. Now I'm going to add one more ring of roses all around for a super duper pretty bridal bouquet. Right there. This retails for about 100, ooh, easily 150 at your local florist. But it sure is pretty. So, American School of Flower Design, flowerschool101.com. I'm going to t rip off my little heads like this. I'll give you one last tip. I always surround my bridal bouquets with Pittosporum. Pittosporum is a green. Oh, we could do a little Hypericum berry. Let's add some Hypericum berry today. I like Hypericum berry. Brides love Hypericum berry. That's why I love Hyper Hypericum berry. So we're going to add a little Hypericum around the edge. And I'm, give, I'm really giving away all my secrets today. And a little bit of pit to finish it off. Notice that I'm doing it the same way, though. Open the gate. I taught, I was in New York recently. At, the, at a hotel, and there were some uh, girls from Ralph Lauren and uh, models, and I was teaching them how to open the gate, and they were running around all day saying, open the gate, open the gate. So they were so thrilled that they were able to make these beautiful bouquets. So there it is. I'm going to play it a little bit, make sure it's nice and domey for my bride. 
a little piece of green here, and I would wire this up, take two wires, and uh, whoop. thank you. There you go. All you got to do is wire it up, and you're ready to go. I do my, uh, don't forget, what's my secret to keeping your wedding flowers longer? Crowning Glory. Spray the entire thing with Crowning Glory. It'll last you for days. It'll seal in the moisture on your flowers. I'm Michael Gaffney with American School of Flower Design. This is your DIY wedding moment. Keep blooming. <music>